presenting preeti's electric pressure cooker preeti electric pressure cooker has two models touch and twist and it has a power consumption capacity of 900 watts here's a look at the kit preeti electric pressure cooker comes with an instruction manual the cooking unit consists of a stainless steel top lid with a heat proof handle the top lid has two important valves that determine the pressure a movable pressure valve that lets out steam and a red colored button called bobber valve that indicates pressure build up the inside of the top lid is sealed with a silica gasket and has an outlet for the excess steam to escape the bottom cooking pan is made of non-stick aluminum the outer body is made of rust proof material on the side of the body positioned just below the pressure valves there is a dual collector made of translucent plastic that collects excess water in case of the touch variant choose your menu by pressing on the various options given on the button panel in the twist variant turn the central knob to choose your option the kit comes with a measuring cup a plastic ladle and a detachable power cord the assembling is pretty simple place the cooking pan inside the cooker cover it with the lid turn it anti clockwise and lock it and turn on the pressure valve now the pressure cooker is ready to be used there is a pressure valve that looks like a whistle and a red colored bobber valve that looks like a button after closing the cooker with the lid the pressure valve should be locked by moving it as shown during the cooking process the bobber valve pops up indicating pressure build up and it comes back to its original position automatically only after completion of cooking process the magnetic lock works in tandem with bobber valve and prevents the lid from opening during the cooking process the bottom cooker has a cooking pan and the cooking happens inside this pan only the cooker has an inbuilt thermostat which controls the temperature and regulates the flow of heat as required for the cooking and then there is a thermal fuse inside that protects the cooker in case of voltage mishaps once the lid is firmly locked to the body the pressure switches are in contact and the cooking process starts the button panel also has three texture options coarse medium and well done this is for the user to choose the preferred nature of the finally cooked food if left unchosen the cooker is set in medium mode in case one wants the rice to be sticky or mashed then they can choose the well done option suppose the user prefers the food semi cooked or hard then the coarse mode can be used once the lid is locked and pressure valve is moved the pressure starts setting in while this is on the digital display does not show any number only after the pressure sets in fully and the bobber valve pops up the digital display starts displaying the time taken to cook the display starts counting down as the cooking is in progress and reaches 0 once the cooking is done after the display reads oh release the pressure valve and open the lid now moving to the timer normally it can be set for a minimum time of 2 hours to a maximum time of 24 hours setting the timer gives you the freedom to attend to your other chores the cooker cooks the food depending on the ingredients and stops automatically on completion on completion the cooked food remains warm inside in case one wants to cook something really fast then the on demand pressure option can be exercised in this option the timer can be set anywhere from 1 minute to 60 minutes this option is available only for closed cooking when cooking is the only job on hand or when one wants to make a quick dish or heat something that's gone cold on demand pressure is the right option electric pressure cooker gives you freedom from whistle a standard fixture and non electric pressure cookers once the ingredients are added and the menu option is chosen you can coolly forget about it and move on to do other jobs the cooker does the rest automatically with preeti electric pressure cooker open cooking and closed cooking options are possible Open cooking allows you to add ingredients one by one and stir the contents for a while before you close the lid and wait for the completion of the cooking process. In closed cooking all ingredients are added at the same time and the cooker is closed right in the beginning. Then wait for the cooking to get over. 
cooking demo using touch. Making vegetable biryani using Preeti electric pressure cooker's touch variant. To begin with, set the pressure cooker in biryani cooking mode by pressing the pulao or biryani button on the button panel. Add 5 teaspoons of oil into the cooking pan, followed by the necessary spices like cinnamon, clove, bay leaf, etc. Add some mint leaves. Before adding vegetables, saute the spices gently. Now add the vegetables like onion, carrot, beans, tomatoes and green chilies. Mix the vegetables well and then add green peas. Mix these well and gently cook them before adding other ingredients. Now add soaked meal maker into this mix. Meal maker is readily available in the market. Stir it. Add salt for taste. Then add ginger garlic paste and mix the ingredients well. Add chili powder and continue stirring. Add water, followed by pre-soaked basmati rice. For one cup of rice, one and a half cups of water should be added. Following this proportion, add three cups of water and two cups of rice. Add two spoons of curd. This completes the list of ingredients to be added into the pan. Stir them well and blend them thoroughly. Close the lid and wait for biryani to be made. Once the lid is locked and pressure valve is moved, the pressure starts setting in. While this is on, the digital display does not show any number. Only after the pressure sets in fully and the barber valve pops up, the digital display starts displaying the time taken to cook. The display starts counting down as the cooking is in progress and reaches zero once the cooking is done. After the display reads OH, release the pressure valve and open the lid. You can see the biryani cooked and ready to be served. Kanchipuram Idli To make Kanchipuram Idli, the batter has to be ground slightly different from the regular Idli. The rice is ground to a grainy consistency. Batter needs to be well fermented and pepper, ginger and green chilies are added to it. Add water just enough to touch the bottommost idli plate and place it inside the cooker. Take the idli plate and pour the batter onto the plate. Place the piled up batter filled idli plates inside the cooker. Close it with the lid and lock it. Ensure that the pressure valve is in unlocked position. Press the idli button on the button panel. Now the cooking process begins. Once steam starts coming out, wait for the display to read OH. This indicates that the cooking process is over. Open the lid and take the idli plates out. Scoop the idlis out of the plate and serve it. To prepare Chetina chicken with Preeti pressure cooker's touch variant, place the cooking pan inside the cooker and set the cooker on gravy mode. Pour 4 teaspoons of oil, add spices and saute them. The necessary chicken masala has to be ground separately into a paste and kept ready. This goes in next. Add chili powder, coriander powder, garam masala and turmeric powder. Asafoetida and salt follow. Stir and mix these ingredients well. Add a few curry leaves and continue stirring. Add chunks of cleaned and washed chicken pieces into this mixture and stir well. Add 3 cups of water, stir it well. Cover it with a lid and set the cooking in chicken mode. Once the lid is locked and pressure valve is moved, the pressure starts setting in. While this is on, the digital display does not show any number. Only after the pressure sets in fully and the barber valve pops up, the digital display starts displaying the time taken to cook. The display starts counting down as the cooking is in progress and reaches zero once the cooking is done. After the display reads OH, release the pressure valve. Once the cooking is done, garnish it with coriander leaves and serve it hot. Similarly, while cooking mutton and chana masala, remember to choose two menu options. First, the gravy option, followed by the meat or chana option. 
Place the cooking pan inside the cooker and set it in gravy mode. Pour 4 teaspoons of oil. Add chopped onions and bell peppers and saute them. Then add tomato puree and mix the ingredients well. Add salt and continue stirring. Pour some milk to give it some malai flavor. A pinch of saffron powder will lend it some color. Then add chili powder and stir it well. Add cubes of paneer. Stir it well and ensure that the paneer soaks in the gravy. Add butter and mix it thoroughly. Close the cooker and let it cook. Once the lid is locked and pressure valve is moved, the pressure starts setting in. While this is on, the digital display does not show any number. Only after the pressure sets in fully and the barber valve pops up, the digital display starts displaying the time taken to cook. The display starts counting down as the cooking is in progress and reaches zero once the cooking is done. After the display reads OH, release the pressure valve. Once paneer butter masala is ready, transfer it into a serving bowl and then serve. To make sambar using Preeti pressure cookers twist variant. To make sambar using Preeti pressure cookers twist variant, add 2 spoons of oil followed by the spices and vegetables. Saute them gently. Add the pre-boiled dal to the mixture and mix it. Add 4 cups of water. Add salt as per requirement. Add coriander and curry leaves. Close it with the lid. Ensure that the pressure valve is locked. Twist the main knob and set it on gravy mode. Once the lid is locked and the pressure valve is moved, the pressure starts setting in. The knob starts rewinding as the cooking is in progress and reaches off position once the cooking is done. The cook light goes off and warm light comes on. Simultaneously, the bobber valve comes down once the cooking is done. Release the pressure valve and open the lid. Now, the sambar is ready. Transfer it into a serving bowl and serve it. Making cake with Preeti pressure cookers twist variant is a simple process. First, pour a few drops of cooking oil into the pan and evenly smear it inside. This is prepared using ready-to-make cooker cake mixes available in the market. Mix the ingredients in the pack as instructed and prepare the dough in a creamy consistency as shown. Put this mixture in the cooking pan and spread it evenly inside the pan. Close the cooker with the lid, lock it and set it in cook mode. Once the lid is locked and the pressure valve is moved, the pressure starts setting in. The knob starts rewinding as the cooking is in progress and reaches off position once the cooking is done. The cook light goes off and warm light comes on. Simultaneously, the bobber valve comes down once the cooking is done. Release the pressure valve and open the lid. Now, take the pan out, invert it on a cake plate. The cake will fall out smoothly on the plate. Decorate the cake as desired and serve it. Wipe the pan at the bottom and ensure it is dry before placing it inside the body. Don't lock the top lid without the gasket. The pressure valve should be in lock position while cooking, except while making idlis when it should be open for the steam to escape. Never use the cooker without fixing the pressure knob. Always have the dual collector fixed on the side while cooking to collect excess water. Ensure that the power cord is properly fixed. Use a ladle or a wooden spatula only. Never use a stainless steel spatula. Use limited quantity as instructed and never overload the pan. Do not store food in the cooking pan. After cooking, transfer the food into another vessel. Ensure that the water does not fall on the thermostat. Do not touch the top and the sides of the outer body while the cooker is switched on. Do not use the cooker to deep fry. Never wash the outer body. The pan and the top lid should be washed in running water. Preeti Electric Pressure Cooker comes with 1 year general warranty and lifelong free service.